One year ago today, 22-year-old Masa Amini died after being arrested by Iran's morality police, sparking the women's life freedom movement across the world. And for the past year, that movement has had the goal of spreading awareness of the persecution of women in Iran. That includes raising awareness right here in Boise, where members of the Iranian-American community came together on the anniversary. And Jude Binkley was there and brings us a look at what the past year has been like. Jude. Well, Brenda, uh, today Boise was one of 70 cities across the globe where people came out on the anniversary of Masa Amini's death and the start of the Women Life Freedom Movement. Community members took to the steps of Boise City Hall to raise awareness of the persecution of women in Iran on the one-year anniversary of Masa Amini's death. Last year, September 16, uh, she was killed by mor morality police just because uh, she did not have her head and scarf um, properly. And that embarked the nationwide protests, which led to uh, women's life freedom uh, revolution. These women invented the slogan, and they want to say women bring life and they can also bring freedom. Similar events have been taking place around the world. We try to do our best to be their voice. Be the voice of protesters against the Islamic Republic of Iran's government and raise awareness of what's going on in the country. We want Americans to know and hear the voice of innocent Iranians in Iran who are being raped, gang raped, tortured, murdered by Islamic repulsive murderers. The revolution started by women, it was led by women, and women were the bravest of Iranians who stood in front of bullets and went to political prisons. Masa Amini wasn't the only name being remembered. During the event, people lined up with the names and stories of 15 kids organizers say were killed by Iran's regime. You can see the, the scope of the violence that happened through the last 12 months. The rally also expressed concerns over the U.S. transferring $6 billion in frozen Iranian funds as part of a U.S.-Iran prisoner swap. We are really worried that this money can help, can, can, this is the money to fund the Iran regime to kill more people in Iran and in the, in the region. Uh, with the release of $6 billion in fund, uh, we are asking Senator Rich, as the ranking member of the Foreign Relations Committee in Senate, to have a uh, to lead a public hearing um, in, in about how these funds, how the government of U.S. going to monitor the spending of these funds. And the group wrote a letter to U.S. Senator Jim Risch expressing concerns over lack of transparency on how the U.S. government is claiming the funds can only be used for humanitarian purposes and how the spending of that six billion dollars could or couldn't be monitored. Brenda. Yeah, well, thank you so much on shining really a light on this issue. Very important. Thank you so much, Jude.